Good afternoon at Rusty wearing somebody's makeup from the <clears throat> last night's Channel 4 TV SAS Who Dares Wins. I don't know what to say about it, but I'm going to say something because that's me. It's a review, really. Um, I've read a few today. I haven't seen any decent ones. Here's one that was sent to me before I was awake. Okay, that's from the Metro. Awful. Awful. However, all I'm really worried about is it's called SAS. Who dares wins? And because of that, wouldn't you think that the SAS deserve better than being dragged down? I do, but there again, I spent 15 years in the SAS. So before I go on to that, <clears throat> If you subscribe free to my YouTube channel, Rusty Fermin, SAS TV. Once you've subscribed, come on and have a look at what we've done, what we're doing now, and other stuff we have in the pipeline. As I say, it's free. And you don't get a lot of stuff free from me. So with that, the reviews, terrible. So I've sat back and thought about it, which is always the best thing to do rather than jump in head first. But there's nothing you can do about what's happened. Because if somebody is in charge of that program, a leader, and that comes out, then he has to sanction it and say he's happy with that. I don't know why, because coming up is the 40th anniversary of the Iranian Embassy Siege, which is on the 5th of May, 2020. Okay, I've organized an event, which will take place, date to be confirmed. But going into that week, which is the following week after next, you know, we've got to tidy up this stuff. So if you're going to use the SAS name, use it properly. So 12, 12 of them last night took part. Two or three took centre stage. Katie Price, um, Tom Bellow, Tony Bellow, sorry. And um, yeah, the Essex guy, you know, the guy who called himself pretty. Ten rounds, it wouldn't go that far. Ten rounds in the ring with Tony Bellow. I think he may change his attitude. And the good bit about I did like last night was looking at Tony Bellow's eyes. I thought he was going to try and knock middle an hour, but he didn't. So it could be like deck ant. <laughs> so if Katie wants to make it back, all she has to do is ask, I'll parcel it up and send it back. I've got it on. The only thing I haven't got is the fake eyebrows. Absolutely rubbish. All the comments today have been the same. The reviews have been the same and until they change their concept of what they're doing with that program you see the wing dagger behind me that one there rusty himself we have to live with the sheer name of what happened it looks to me like channel four are actually using ant it doesn't look like ant is capable of going forward, making changes so it at least looks a bit. And I'm not going to copy anything that was said today, nothing, because I've got my own point of view. And last night I had to endure a whole hour. That's an hour of my life. I'm never going to get back. But I did it. You know why? Because I passed SAS selection. That's why. 
mind over matter. That's one thing I do have. One thing I was instilled by the true instructors in the SAS when I came through. Legends. Even It doesn't matter who they were. All of them taught people. You know, it didn't need to spend half the time shouting and screaming. Okay. And swearing. And I've said that in my other videos. This is not new. Go back and look at them. You don't need to do that. What you need to do is try and help push people forward and make them learn. People want to learn. Unfortunately, celebrities who are highly paid, they're not interested. Turn up, take the money and off they go. I feel sorry for the nine guys. Sorry. The nine that didn't really get a part in there last night. Because um, a certain Katie Price uh, put herself forward. Which meant he put the lead instructor out slightly. If not a lot. And, it, you know, shambles isn't the word. It's nothing I've ever seen like that. And, um, yeah, the Essex guy. You know, the guy who called himself Pretty. Ten rounds, it wouldn't go that far. Ten rounds in the ring with Tony Bello. I think he may change his attitude. And the good bit about I did like last night was looking at Tony Bello's eyes. I thought he was going to try and knock middle an hour, but he didn't. So it could be like the deck ant. So, if Katie wants to make it back, all she has to do is ask, I'll parcel it up and send it back. I've got it on. The only thing I haven't got is the fake eyebrows. Absolutely rubbish. All the comments today have been the same. The reviews have been the same. And until they change the concept of what they're doing with that program, you see the winged dagger behind me, and that one there, Rusty himself. We have to live with the sheer name of what happened. It looks to me like Channel 4 are actually using Ant. It doesn't look like Ant is capable of going forward, making changes so it at least looks a bit. And I'm not going to copy anything that was said today. Nothing. Because I've got my own point of view. And last night I had to endure a whole hour. That's an hour of my life. I'm never going to get back. But I did it. You know why? Because I passed SAS selection. That's why. Mind over matter. That's one thing I do have. One thing I was instilled by the true instructors in the SAS when I came through legends even it doesn't matter who they were all of them taught people you know it didn't need to spend half the time shouting and screaming okay and swearing and I've said that in my other videos this is not new go back and look at them you don't need to do that. What you need to do is try and help push people forward and make them learn. People want to learn. Unfortunately, celebrities who are highly paid, they're not interested. Turn up, take the money and off they go. I feel sorry for the nine guys. Sorry. The nine that didn't really get a part in there last night because um, a certain Katie Price uh, put herself forward which meant he put the lead instructor out slightly, if not a lot. And, it, you know, shambles isn't the word. It's nothing I've ever seen like that in SAS. And I hope you guys pass this on to other people, because what I'm saying is I will stand up and tell anybody. And the people who keep sending me comments and remarks, some of them will be good, some of them will be bad. I try to answer everything. It's quite a task. Because at the minute, 
the book sales are flying everything that it's taken up a lot of time doing that type of stuff and of course people want it before i run out because they know we can't get any more <laughs> so that's that so really huge disappointment um i could really tear it apart but i don't need to i look forward to your comments i look forward to what you say i listen I did say before the programme what I thought might happen. I don't have inside information, but actually, if there's anybody here that thinks that programme was acceptable with the word SAS in there, you know something I don't know. And the lads I spoke to this morning from Hereford absolutely 100 percent on my side but of course they would be because they've passed sas selection okay and that's that so this one will be a shortened version of something i'm putting into well into practice right now and i think you'll enjoy it when it comes out so for the real SAS, the real followers of the SAS, what I'd like to do is sign off with a who dares wins. Not for three of the instructors, by the way, because it doesn't affect them. It does affect one guy in that particular show last night. In my opinion, you should be leading that program. You'll see a difference beyond belief. Otherwise, you won't see the program. So, I'll be back on tomorrow. One or two tricks up my sleeve before I then get back on to probably do the jungle training um, one very shortly, followed by other stuff I've got written down, which is in chronological order. And it should make sense to anybody who wants to watch. So with that... The ending of this clip just listen okay just listen to what's being said and wonder why it's all about him i was talking talk this morning about how if it wasn't for me you lot wouldn't be employed so i was talking talk this morning about how if it wasn't for me you lot wouldn't be employed so